within the sector, I don't think there's yet uh, a, a good understanding of uh, what a resilient community looks like, uh, nor what shared responsibility looks like. Um, obviously, the uh, CRC has a number of projects that are exploring those themes, and I'm, I'm uh, pretty confident that uh, in due course, uh, the sector will have a better understanding of resilience and, and uh, a sense of shared responsibility. Um, today the presentations are mostly by researchers and research from the research program. They're halfway through their project, so they're actually trying to communicate what they're doing ahead of the publication. And so for us that's really good. We get a, a, a sort of an opening into what they're doing and what they're thinking um, so we can start to prepare for the final product. So the first keynote speaker this morning talking about fire, you know, pure research into fire, absolutely fascinating stuff. One of the take home messages is, wow, you know, even these systems that appear so complex and, you know, we can't get a grip on them, like, like a fire, turns out they have a whole bunch of really tightly constrained rules. And so if you're looking at the question about how do we grow community resilience, it just looks so hard, there's so many factors. In fact, through research you may be able to find some stuff that you can really hang on to to make a difference. We're really excited about on Thursday, in part of the Indigenous um, session, is we've got a group of people coming down from the APY lands. Uh, this is a really good opportunity for them to experience a, a conference of this size and scale, um, and certainly an opportunity to expose them to broader emergency management. So they've self-identified what they need, and what we've been able to do is help facilitate those requirements. So we're not going in there telling them what configuration, how they need to operate. It's very much about that community identifying what they needed, and us actually actually assisting them with the training and resources to support that. Yes, yeah, so I think that's really um, in the theme you know, of the conference, the new directions in emergency management. It's not just about um, you know, chain of command, I mean it is, but it, um, it's also that um, all embracing mm. culture of listening to the community, mm. um, whoever they may be, and targeting what we, how, how we work with them and how they work with us. There's, there's one presentation in particular that I'm really interested in and I have to admit that there's a, a bit of a selfish motive in, in that it's an area that has to do with children and youth and it, that's an area that we do a lot of research, I have a lot of interest in. But there's a presentation that Kat Haynes is doing tomorrow on um, the causes of child deaths historically. And I think that that's linked to a larger research tradition that these guys at Macquarie at Risk Frontiers have been on about, about looking at what are the causes of deaths in a range of hazardous events, a range of disasters. And that kind of research is really compelling because it, it, it points out by looking at causes, the translation of causes can be translated into what are the behaviors that are necessary to prevent those causes from occurring. Uh, and, and that has direct translation into the kind of public education, into those more kind of social solutions. So, so it's, I, I have an interest in going to those kind of presentations that are more initiative based about what we are doing, but I'm also very interested in some that are producing knowledge that then can be translated into those more kind of social solutions. I see this conference as a great opportunity to network with not only the colleagues with whom I interact uh, routinely across the country, but also with people from other parts of the emergency management sector. And out of all of those discussions, both the formal ones in the, inside the conference venue, but also the informal ones over a cup of tea and a bit of lunch, I, I pick up some real nuggets. And, you know, as the conference goes on, I'll start to thread them together. And uh, ultimately, I, I suspect, as I usually do out of these AFAC conferences, get some really great ideas that I can take forward, not only in my own organisation, uh, but through AFAC's Community Safety Group and other groups I participate in, uh, seek to uh, get them, um, those tentacles out, if you like, uh, of ideas out into the rest of the uh, EM sector. I think what it does is helps us uh, do a bit of a stop take about where we're at with where we're taking our programs and planning. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to connect with other, other agencies and, and other researchers and ensure that we're continuing to deliver best practice in the programs that we, we are, are delivering or providing to the community.